If you're looking for someone to really drive and lead your awards evening with considerable style, if you're looking for someone to chair your seminar, your corporate day, your event, Adrienne Lawler is the person for you. full nationwide picture from Adrienne Lawler. Thank you, Philip. And I've got to say, the team I'm most interested in is the one here in Stat City because they are working feverishly to make sure I've got up to the second data here on my stats pad. And the news is absolutely sensational. Responding to Moody's downgrade, the co-op said that it had a strong funding profile that was significantly above regulatory requirements. The news preceded the resignation of Chief Executive Barry Tootle after the bank failed to buy 631 branches from the Lloyds Banking Group. Well, I am exhausted. In fact, I feel a little bit like this bunny. What, dead and stuffed? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we've made the target, though? Well, what with the noise and everything else, it was actually very difficult to keep people here. You I don't know. I'll have the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it's about time we counted the money, and whilst we do that, take a look at the highlights of today. Well, if, like me, you've given up tracking the performance of your shares online for fear of smashing the screen in frustration, you may have thought the tide was turning. Hands up all those people who instinctively, without thinking, identify with a square. Right. One, two, three. OK. Well, bit of a worry, because... <clears throat> <laughs> The squares are the foundation of a business that's successful. Um, they're the things that you want to rely on, that you can fall back on, and not one of the directors is a square, so <laughs> don't want to worry you. In Kuala Lumpur today, a Singaporean marksman has been named as the mastermind behind Malaysia's notorious M16 gang. Today we're in Chipping Norton, home to Jeremy Clarkson, Elizabeth Murdoch, Rebecca Brooks, and somebody else. Oh, I know, the Prime Minister. But if you're not in the Chipping Norton set, or indeed part of the myriad of antique shops that make up this thriving market town, how do you make a living in the 21st century? Hands up all those people who instinctively identify with triangles. All right, okay, this one. Okay, if you've got a triangle at your table or in your office, you'll know because they're empire builders. They've got their stapler. 130 then. Say yes, Jackie. 140. Say yes, 130, Jackie. No. I'll give you All right, 135. 135. Could you recreate a face just from memory? The problem with this for eyewitnesses is that, first of all, it has to be embedded in their own mind, and then they've got to be able to articulate it accurately so that the image can be drawn up. Now, these are two very difficult skills. Today is particularly special for lots of reasons, isn't it? Because the sad right. news for both of you is that your wife yeah. and your mum actually died a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. and, and I know she was very ill when we did the Everything Must Go programme. So we were very surprised that you decided to carry on. We're delighted. But what was it that made you decide to carry on and have this sale today as well? Now, there is still a little bit more fun to be had in the form of gambling, which is a bit of a surprise for a bank that I've been told all day is safe and prudent and doesn't do anything at high risk. <laughs> but what Mary Jordan is asking for is quite reasonable, isn't it? She didn't get what she paid for, and so now she wants a refund. Now, you can come up with a million clauses and subclauses for why you shouldn't give it to her, but the bottom line is this. Your company's reputation is on the line for £1,470. Why don't you just give her her money back? OK, circles, hands up, all those people who will say, oh, a lot more. OK, keep your hands up, because the good news about getting a circle to put one of the hands up is at least you know where one of the hands are. <laughs> if you were going to put something different on the back of your business card, what would it be? What was your answer, Richard? Your telephone number. <laughs> <laughs> Very smooth. And it did shut you up for a minute, it though, just, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, it? Well, it made me laugh. Um, <laughs> this is CNN, the most trusted name in news, reporting from the CNN World Headquarters in Atlanta. Hands up all those people who instinctively identify with the irregular puzzle shapes. OK, not as many as usual, but... Now, it's important just to remind you, this is not my opinion, OK? Scientific minds have studied this and come to the conclusion that people who identify instinctively with an irregular puzzle shape 
are sex-starved nymphomaniacs who are, <laughs> who are particularly rampant at conferences. So um, <clears throat> if you'd like to sit beside the circles, it could be a very interesting day. You have an event, you have Adrienne, and you'll be doing right by your business.